We are there today. This compromise that is taking place in the church, the attack on young people today, this is precisely why the words that were given to us by Paul to admonish us, they were very clearly given to us when he says, look, take heed for yourself and to the doctrines. Continue in them, for in doing this, you will save both yourself and those who hear you. He also tells us, meditate on these things. That means you got to shut off the world's music. Not just on Sabbath, mind you. Not just because you turn in the parking lot, you got to turn it down. No, you got to turn it off and never turn it on again. But I want to tell you, young people are a product of their environment. They are. I mean, go in the house. Just look at where the couches focus on. They always focus on one central point, the TV. TV has become the God of the house. Not God in heaven. What you're doing is you're serving two masters. You can't do that. You can't serve God in one breath, go out and have a sexual partner or a sexual relationship or do drugs or try to be a DJ or try to be in this music or go off to this and go clubbing here and go clubbing there or taking a sip of alcohol here. That's compromise. Come on. If God were to come now, who is he going to take? If there's any time in this world, it's now that you got to get serious. Stop playing games because God's not. Listen carefully. Because the decision you're about to make could determine your destiny for eternity. You want to know who you're supposed to marry, young people? I'll tell you who. Marry God on your knees, and he'll show you who. There are many of you who are adults today who have married somebody who is outside the faith. You might come to me and say, but my spouse is now in the church. You are lucky by God's grace. Do you want your children to go through what you went through? Stop playing games. This is a very, very serious issue. If you want to be called a child of God, then you represent him as his child. Give me your car keys. You give me your car keys, guess what? I'm going to go through your CD collection. I'm going to push every preset on your radio, and that will tell me who you serve. Am I joking? Am I stepping on toes? Praise God. It's time to stop playing games. We are, brothers and sisters, at the end. If there's ever a time you need to get serious, it's today. You got a Facebook page, you tweet, you know what? Tweet about preparation. Use your Facebook page to bring others to the truth. On my Facebook page, I've gone through studies after studies after studies. Daily, I'm posting things up there. Right now, we just started the third testimony. We're in chapter 2. Tomorrow's chapter 3. I ask... I quote some paragraphs in there, and I put in some very thought-provoking questions in light of that to make people think. Use social media to God's glory. That's what we're told to do. Whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. Do it to the glory of God. This is no time to keep your mouth shut. This is time to let your neighbors, the world, know who you serve and in whom you believe and in whom you expect to come. When you get up in the morning, 
you drop to your knees and you say, Lord, I want to be used by you today. Who is it that you would lead me to? You know what that means? That means you don't just walk, go walking around with your pocket full of money. That means you go walking along with tracks ready to pass out to people. Take great controversies. Take DVDs. Take glow cards. Take Signs of the Times cards. Pass them out to people. I pass them out all over the place. On the planes, I put great controversies in the bathrooms of the planes. Especially when I'm flying internationally. They got no reading material in there. Look, you laugh. But one of these days, mind you, we're going to be in the heavenly kingdom and you're going to say to some guy, hey man, how'd you get to know about Jesus? He says, you're not going to believe this. I was flying at 40,000 feet. I went to the bathroom and there was this book, The Great Controversy there. I don't know about you. I want to go home. I really want to go home. I'm tired of this world. I'm tired of leaving my family, coming around to places to preach the gospel to people who are so dead. I would rather be home with my children, preparing them for the heavenly kingdom. But when God called me to ministry, I promised I would go wherever he wanted me to go. I would say whatever he wanted me to say. I would be whatever he wanted me to be. And if that means i got to leave my home to do it, then I have to leave my home. And I praise God, I have a loving wife who understands. It's not a vacation. Jesus.